A yard waste collection site in St. Paul recently turned into a classroom. The teachers, experts from the Minnesota Department of Agriculture, University of Minnesota, and Ramsey County. The students, those who work at or operate a brush disposal site. And the lesson, how to identify ash trees, brush and wood, and help slow the spread of emerald ash borer. Some of these sites are right outside the quarantine, so it's very easy for someone maybe to remove trees in the quarantine and then take them to that site that's pretty close, but it's outside that quarantine boundary. And those people need to be able to recognize ash trees so they can say, hey, wait a second, you know, you've got ash brush here. We, we can't have that outside the quarantine. You need to take it somewhere inside the quarantine. Ever since emerald ash borer, or EAB, was discovered in Minnesota in 2009, the state has placed quarantine zones around known infested counties. Hennepin and Ramsey in the Twin Cities, and Houston County in far southeastern Minnesota. It's one way to help protect Minnesota's 975 million ash trees from the destructive bug that feeds under the ash bark. And it has, uh, and it's a female. With some hands-on education, the students in the class can easily ID ash material and know what should and shouldn't be done with it. The uh, characteristics that we're looking for on the ash, number one, are the opposite branching. What we mean by that is that each leaf comes out opposite another one. It's not alternate on the stem. And ash trees, the female ash tree, will have what we call the samara, which is this long, elongated seed right here. And thirdly, the leaves will be compound leaves. Uh, this is, a, is actually one leaf, and the smaller part here, that's a leaflet. And all ash trees will have compound leaflets. For more information on emerald ash borer and more details on identifying ash trees, go to the Minnesota Department of Agriculture's website for EAB at saveourash.net.